We've covered two rec rebuilds from the Union Pacific, each of their own qualities. But there's one rec rebuild that has something, well, interesting about it. 6759 was built at General Electric's Erie Shops in March 1996 as one of multiple new AC44s bought by the Union Pacific. The AC44s were the step up compared to the Dash 9 as they were fitted with new AC traction motors but still had the same horsepower as the Dash 9s. But back to our locomotive, 6759's life, as per normal with the series, was rather uneventful until December 17, 2007. 6759 was in charge of a Red Rock coal train when it collided with a Union Pacific local, taking the impacts of multiple cars and the conductor's side being ripped open. Thankfully though, the crew survived despite the severe accident. In 2008, 6759 would move to the Coast Engine and Equipment Company to be repaired. However, instead of receiving a regular wide cab, a cab was reused from a Canadian National Dash 9, this one being number 2584, which was caught in a washout around Rocky Ford, Alberta, and thankfully, the cab was spared. 6759 would emerge from the Seaco not long after, with its rather unique cab. CNS-9s were fitted with what's called teardrop cabs, as evident with the dips in the cab windows. Must have been ratioed by other railroads. When the cab was fitted, the teardrop windows were, oddly enough, removed, but the dips in the cab were still present. Aside from that oddity, 6759's career still continues on as normal, as one of the few unique locomotives on Union Pacific. However, with the rise of rebuilds, 6759's cab will likely get replaced with a Jeevo cab once it's time for her rebuild. So, who knows how long she'll be in this form 